Good evening and a welcome to another reading of the Stars in a One Night. The music you were listening to is called, the song is called Wind, and it's by Kamiap Sadir, our musical director. And we are blessed to have on board on this huge journey. All right, tonight we're going to read the 458 night. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, Joanna Godwin Seidel from the Vienna Theatre Project and I started reading, hi, <laughs> started reading more than a year ago the original translation of A Thousand and One Nights by Sir Richard Burton. As Joanna would always say, without further ado, I shall read. All right. <clears throat> now, when it was the 458th night, she said, it had reached me, O auspicious king, that the philosopher then addressed the damsel, saying, what was the first skirt that trailed over the face of the earth? She replied, that of Hagar, out of shame before Sarah, and it became a custom among the Arabs. What is that which breatheth without life? Quoth Almighty Allah, by the morning when it breatheth. Read me this riddle. A number of pigeons came to a high tree and lighted, some on the tree and others under it, said those on the tree to those on the ground, if one of you come up to us, ye will be a third part of us all in number. And if one of us descend to you, we shall be like unto you in number. How many pigeons were there in all? Twelve. Seven alighted on the tree and five beneath. And if one go up, those above would be eight to four. And if one go down, both would be six, and Allah is all-knowing. With this, the philosopher put off his clothes and fled, whereupon the next contest took place. For she turned to the ulema present and said, which of you is the rhetorician that can discourse of all arts and sciences? There came forward a sage, hight Ibrahim bin Siyar, and said to her, think me not like the rest, quoth she. It is the more assured to me that thou wilt be beaten, for that thou art a boaster, and Allah will help me to victory over thee, that I may strip thee of thy clothes. So if thou sentest one to fetch thee, wherewithal to cover thyself, it would be well for thee. Cried he, By Allah, I will assuredly conquer thee and make thee a byword among the peoples, generation after generation. Rejoined she, Do penance in advance for thy broken oath. Then he asked, What five things did Allah create before he made man? And she answered, water and earth, and light and darkness, and the fruits of the earth. What did Allah create with the hand of omnipotence? The Arsh, throne of God, or the imperial heaven, and the tree Tuba and Adam, and the garden of Eden. These Allah created with the hand of his omnipotence. But to all other created things, he said, be, and they were. Who is thy father in Al-Islam? Muhammad, whom Allah bless and preserve. Who was the father in Al-Islam of Muhammad? Abraham, the friend of God. What is the faith of Al-Islam? The professing that there is no God but the God, and that Muhammad is the Apostle of God. 
What is thy first? And thy last. My first is man's seed in the shape of foul water, and my last filthy carrion. The first of me is dust, and the last of me is dust. Quoth the poet, Of dust was I created, and man did I become, in question ever ready, and I fluent in reply. Then I unto the dust returned, became of it again. For that in very deed of dust at first, create was I. He continued, What thing was it, whose first state was wood, and its last life? Moses' staff, when he cast it on the valley ground, and it became, by permission of Allah, a writhing serpent. What is the meaning of the word of the Lord, and I have other occasion for it? He, Moses, was wont to plant his staff in the ground, and it would flower and fruit and shade him from the heat and from the cold. Moreover, it would carry him when he was weary, and whilst he slept, guard his sheep from lions and wild beasts. What woman was born of a man alone? And what man of a woman alone? Eve of Adam and Jesus of Mary. Tell me of the four fires. What fire eateth and drinketh? What fire eateth but drinketh not? What fire drinketh but eateth not, and what other neither eateth nor drinketh? The fire of the world eateth but drinketh not. The fire which eateth and drinketh is hell fire. The fire of the sun drinketh but eateth not. And the fire of the moon neither eateth nor drinketh. Which is the open door and which the shut? The traditional ordinances are the open door, the Quranic, the shut door. Of what doth the poet speak when he saith, And dweller in the tomb whose food is at his head, When he eateth of that mead, of words he waxeth vain. He riseth and he walketh, and he talketh without tongue, And returneth to the tomb where his kith and kin are lain. No living wife is he, yet in honour he abides, nor dead yet he deserveth that Allah him assain. She replied, The reed pen. Quoth he, What doth the poet refer to in these verses? Two vests in one, blood flowing easiest wise, rosy red ears and mouth wide open lies. It hath a cock like form, its belly peaks. And if you price it, half a dirham buys. She replied, the ink case. Quoth he, and in these, Ho, say to man of wisdom, wit and lore, To sapient, reverent, clever counsellor, Tell me, what was you saw that bird bring forth, When wandering Arab land and Ajam over, no flesh it beareth, and it hath no blood, nor down, nor any feathers ever it wore. Tis eaten cooked, and eke, tis eaten cold, tis eaten buried beneath the flames that war. It showeth twofold colours silver white, and yellow brighter than pure golden ore. Tis not seen living, or we count it dead, so re my riddle, rich and marvel store. She replied, Thou makest long some the questioning, and end an egg worth a mite. And this? I wave to and fro, and he wave to and fro, with a motion so pleasant, now fast and now slow. 
and at last he sunk down on my bosom of snow. Your love a friend? No friend, my fan, said she. How many words did Alas speak to Moses? It is related of the apostle that he said God spoke to Moses 1515 words. Tell me of 14 things that speak to the Lord of the worlds. The seven heavens and the seven earth. And when they say we come obedient to thy command. And Shahrazad perceived the dawn of day and see sin, her permitted say. Now when it was the 459th night, she said, It hath reached me, auspicious king, that when the damsel made the answer, the philosopher continued telling me of Adam and how he was first created. And she said, Allah created Adam of clay, the clay he made of foam, and the foam of the sea, the sea of darkness, darkness of light, light of a fish, the fish of a rock, the rock of a ruby, the ruby of water, and the water he created by his omnipotence, according to his saying, exalted be his name, his commandment when he will at all, is but to say be, and it is. What is meant by the poet in these verses? And eater lacking mouth, and even more, yet trees and beasts to it are daily bread. Well fed it thrives and shows a lively life, but give it water and you do it dead. This, quoth she, is fire. And in these, he asked, two lovers, barred from every joy and bliss, who through the livelong night embracing lie, they guard the folk from all calamities, but with the rising sun apart they fly. She answered, the leaves of a door. Quoth he, tell me of the gates of Gehenna. Quoth he, they are seven in numbers and their names are comprised in these two couplets. Jahannam, next Lazar, and third Hatim. Then count Sa'ir and Sakar, eke fivefold, six comes Jahim and Hawiyah, the seventh. Here are seven hells in four lines briefly told. Quoth he, to what doth the poet refer when he saith, she wears a pair of ringlets long let down behind her as she comes and goes at speed. And I that never tastes of sleep nor sheds a tear for never a drop it hath at need that never all its life was stitch of clothes, yet rose mankind in every mode of weed. Quoth she, a needle. What is the length and what the breadth of the bridge I see had? Its length is 3,000 years journey, a thousand in descent and a thousand in descent and a thousand level. It is sharper than a sword and finer than a hair. And Shahrazad perceived the dawn of day and ceased to say her permitted say. Now when it was the 460th night, she said, it hath reached me, auspicious king, that when the damsel had described to him al sirat the philosopher said, Inform me how many intercessions with Allah hath the Prophet for each soul? Three. Was Abu Bakr the first who embraced al-Islam? Yes. Yet Ali became a Muslim before him. Ali came to the Prophet when he was a boy of seven years old, 
for Allah vouchsafed him knowledge of the way of salvation in his tender youth, so that he never prostrated himself to idols. Quoth he, Tell me, which is the more excellent, Ali or Abbas? Now she knew that in propounding this question, Ibrahim was laying a trap for her. For if she said Ali is more excellent than Abbas, she would lack excuse with the Caliph for undervaluing his ancestor. So she bowed her head a while, now reddening, then paling, and lastly said, Thou askest me of two excellent men, each having his own excellence. Let us return to what we were about. When the Caliph Harun al-Rashid heard her, he stood up and said, Thou hast spoken well by the Lord of the Kaaba, or Tabadud. Then, quoth Ibrahim, the rhetorician, what meaneth the poet when he saith, Slim-waisted one, whose taste is sweet as sweet, Likest a lance whereon no head we scan, and all the lieges find it work them weal, eaten of afternoon in Ramazan. She answered, the sugar cane. And he said, tell me of many things. Asked she, what are they? And he said, what is sweeter than honey? What is sharper than a sword? What is swifter than poison? What is the delight of a moment? And what the contentment of three days? What is the pleasantest of days? What is the joy of a week? What is that debt the worst debtor denieth not? What is the prison of the tomb? What is the joy of the heart? What is the snare of the soul? What is death in life? What is the disease that may not be healed? What is the shame that may not be wiped off? What is the beast that wanteth not in cultivated fields, but lodgeth in waste places, and hateth the son of Adam, and hath in him somewhat of the make of seven strong and violent beasts? Quoth she, Hear what I shall say in reply. Then put off thy clothes, that I may explain to thee. And the caliph said, Expound, and he shall doff his clothes. So she said, Now that which is sweeter than honey is the love of pious children to their two parents. That which is sharper than the sword is the tongue. That which is swifter than poison is the envious eye. The delight of a moment is carnal copulation, and the contentment of three days is the depilatory for women. The pleasantest of days is that of profit on merchandise. The joy of a week is the bride. The debt which the worst debtor denieth not is death. The prison of the tomb is a bad son. The joy of the heart is a woman obedient to her husband, and it is said also that when flesh meat descendeth upon the heart, it rejoiceth therein. The snare of the soul is a disobedient slave. Death in life is poverty. The disease that may not be healed is an ill nature, and the shame that may not be wiped away is an ill daughter. Lastly, the beast that wanteth not in cultivated fields, but lodgeth in waste places, and hateth the sons of Adam, and hath in him somewhat of the make of seven strong and violent beasts, is the locust whose head is at the head of a horse, its neck as the neck of the bull, its wings as the wings of the vulture, its feet as the feet of the camel, 
its tail as the tail of the serpent, its belly as the belly of the scorpion, and its horns as the horns of the gazelle. The caliph was astounded at her quickness and understanding and said to the rhetorician, Doff off thy clothes. So he rose up and cried, I call all who are present in this assembly to witness that she is more learned than I and every other learned man. And he put off his clothes and gave them to her, saying, Take them, and may Allah not bless them to thee. So the caliph ordered him fresh clothes and said, O Tavadud, there is one thing left of that for which thou didst engage, namely chess. And he sent for experts of chess and cards and trick track. The chess player sat down before her and they set the pieces. And he moved and she moved. But every move he made, she speedily counted. And Shahrazad perceived the dawn of day and ceased saying her permitted say. Hope you enjoyed the reading. I've got somewhere to go, so I'm going to say goodnight. Hey, Nizar! Nizar sent an emoji. Nizar, by the way, is a, is a Palestinian artist who was supposed to perform with us for the Kultur Summer, which is an art summer stage, and uh, we got cancelled due to horrible weather. But if we get to perform again, he will perform a poem. And, um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. And I wish you a wonderful night, a peaceful, peaceful dreams. And um, wherever you are in the world, much joy or at least calmness, all right? As usual, remember to go inwards instead of outwards. I'll see you maybe tomorrow if Joanna can tune in. I'll be there. Good night.